Hey everyone, welcome back to the Crazy Dreamer Network. My name is AJ and let's hop right into today's reading. So today's reading is all about predictions and what's coming in for you in the month of July 2024. We have three pictures. Picture number one, which is the beautiful full moon on a summer night. Picture number two, we have this beautiful cotton candy cloud sunset. And, pop, and picture number three, we have this picturesque perfect summer's day with a rainbow. So I'll give you all some time to meditate on your pile selection. All right, Jimmy Jimmer. So again, picture one, picture two, and picture three. I love you all so much, and I'll see you in your reading. Bye. Hey, pile number ones. Welcome back to your July 2024 predictions. So let's see what's in store for you in the month of July. We're going to start with this beautiful Black Moon Astrology deck. Thank you, God. Thank you, Spirit, for blessing our pile number ones, for giving them clear, concise, accurate messages. What's in store for our pile number ones, July 2024, this July? What's in store for our pile number ones this July 2024, Spirit? Okay. Beautiful. We already have a card out. Now we have card number 52 with void, of course, moon missing. Now it's very coincidental, right? Nothing's a true coincidence, but it's very serendipitous pile number ones that you guys have card number 52 with void, of course, moon missing this big, huge moon, right? And then on your picture selection, you also have that moon on a summer's night right that big full moon on a summer's night so card number 52 some of you all could be 52 years old five and two that's seven okay some of you guys can be kind of like there can be a delay in a divine blessing sent to you or it might feel like that right it might feel like you're getting your footing or, you know, with the void of course moon that if it, it feels like something's missing, right? Something's a little askew. Something's not quite, quite right. And I say that because at the bottom of the deck, we have card number 45, part of fortune with increase, right? So it could feel like you, in the month of July, you're feeling like, hmm, I was expecting something, I'm waiting for something, but maybe it is missing, it has yet to arrive, or like there's a feeling state in which you're missing. We're going to read a tiny bit of this card from this guidebook, okay? Okay, so it says, void, of course, moon missing. The moon is a friend for the lonesome to talk to. All is not as it seems. This void, of course, moon card can be daunting. It may not be it may not be a good or appropriate time to answer your question as it is now the results may not be what you want very interesting so um let's see yeah it says this card says to sit still and stay as you are do not take any action so you know what i'm getting pile number ones in the month of july spirit wants you to kind of be still to regroup right maybe you are looking to increase your finances maybe you are looking to stabilize them even you might have spent a lot of money during june so you kind of want to make sure that the month of july you're kind of free and clear in regards to the money that you're spending so if it's like don't take action and then at the bottom of the deck we have the part of fortune with increase it's almost like sit still for now so you can have a surplus have an increase for later some of you all might want to save some money so that's coming out strongly um for you all pile number one so let's see tell us more spirit let's delve deeper into the messages for you what's in store for our pile number ones during this july what's in store for our pile number ones for the month of july what's coming in for pile number ones during the month of july spirit what's in store what's coming in for our pile number ones okay perfect so we have the generosity of earth which is the queen of pentacles which i think is interesting pile number ones because it's just it peaked out while i was 
while I was shuffling. Tell us more spirit, clear, concise, accurate messages was coming in for our pile number ones during the month of July. This is definitely coinciding with this um, void of course moon missing and the part of fortune increase at the bottom of the deck. We also have the seven of air, okay? Which is the seven of swords in this suit, in this particular deck, excuse me. So we're gonna move this up a little bit more. I wanna choose one more card, one more card. Spirit, clear, concise, accurate messages for our pile number ones. What's coming in for them during the month of July? Okay, and we have the three of air. Okay, so very interesting pile number pile number ones. It, it's I think you're healing something. You're healing something in regards to maybe your thought patterns or maybe some something that was deceiving, something that was not what it seemed, right? Especially with the seven of air. Okay. Um, another full moon in the back of this three of swords in the back of this person um on this card right and she's crying you could there could be emotions kind of boiling up right the generosity of earth is the queen of pentacles in this deck and i feel like it's like you're going to have everything you need around you but spirit wants you to really mind your thoughts right now because this could be an emotional month for you for some reason, right? The generosity of earth, she looks very well taken care of. She looks like she has everything she needs or the things that are most important to her. She has a beautiful home or beautiful, you know, yeah, rest area. She has her two dogs and she has a huge smile on her face. And she also has a crown, which to me, she was wearing a crown, which to me would signify like her mind is right, right? Her mind, she, she, her mind is activated. Now with the seven of air and the three of air, I have a feeling that while you're going to be tapping into your resources in the month of July, um, don't let certain thoughts impede in on you and deceive you. That's what I'm getting because I feel like in one aspect, you could be feeling really great on top of it, on top of the things that you need very kind of like on it, but then maybe your thoughts are running running right it's almost like how our refrigerator runs and it, it just comes out of nowhere when we hear that sound it's almost like those will be your thoughts during the month of july but let's see let's get more insight into this tell us more spirit what can our pile number ones expect during the month of july 2024 yeah the tower and the tower wanted to come out previously so it's interesting there's radical change there's a radical change maybe in your mindset some of you all could be earth signs virgo capricorn or tauruses or some of you all can have these signs highly aspected in your chart now with the tower 16 it's almost like there there's a there's a big change coming in the month of july there's an abrupt change right and it almost might feel like there's cracks in the foundation but in reality i feel like Hmm. And I say cracks in the foundation and you guys usually know when I, when it comes to the, um, tower card, I, I typically just kind of say change, not necessarily cracks in the foundation, but there's a literal crack in the foundation. Like that's the emphasis on this card. Okay. And also card number 16, one and six, that's seven again. There's a, 777 technically right you're divinely guided and this is divinely orchestrated um let's pull some more cards because i it's like i'm not seeing the entire picture yet but let's see what can our pile number ones expect during the month of july spirit clear concise accurate messages for our pile number ones yeah velocity of water okay so we have this is the knight of cups in this deck tell us more spirit clear concise accurate messages for our pile number ones what can pile number ones expect during the month of july clear concise accurate messages for our pile number ones what can they expect during the month of july spirit okay these wanted to come out, so we're going to take them. Interesting. We have the Six of Fire in reverse, so that's the Six of Wands. We have the Chariot, and then we have the Four of Swords. 
it's almost like you could okay pile number ones spirit wants you to kind of rest and be to yourself and i say this because look at here we have the generosity of earth it's almost like this person depicted here is all good when she's alone and she's with the people or the the things closest to her like her pets or you know her companion whatever right her companions right she's good right with this tower here there could be a lot of change going on within your life right now and maybe you have not even been able to let the dust settle around you the dust is about to settle and i say that because we have a lot of swords cards right we have um the four of air the three of air and then we have the seven of air which is which is swords so there's a lot of thinking there's a lot of overthinking contemplating something like that now with the seven of air and the velocity of water which is the um knight of cups what i'm thinking is your mind could be playing tricks on you in regards to like your creative pursuits or endeavors. I feel like you really, you might want to do one, you, you could be experiencing a little cognitive dissonance, right? So you might be kind of going back on your word to yourself is what I'm getting here with the velocity of water. Now the velocity of water could actually be another person, right? This could be someone uh, coming in Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. It doesn't necessarily have to be, but it could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, almost like um, not telling you everything that you need to know. I think this is Neptune in the back of this moth here. And I think it's interesting because um, water signs, well, not all water signs, but I know Pisces ruled by Neptune. So this could represent a Pisces. Now, these three cards came out. You guys usually know I don't read reversals, but for some reason, this made sense to me. Um, with the three of air, there is like this healing or this maybe this sadness in regards to like a loss maybe there there is a victory that has been had here but it could be hollow or it could be um maybe there there it's interesting because we have the six of fire which is the victory card and that's in reverse but then we have the chariot which is another victory card the stronger victory card because it's a major arcana and this is upright maybe you are upset or there's something sad because there's something going on within you because you're not being acknowledged for a certain victory in the month of july right and with all this moon energy here, pile number pile number ones, I have a feeling spirit definitely. There's something you can't see right now. There's something you can't see. And it's interesting because we have the Maggie card number one, which is the magician at the bottom of the deck. So this is the creator. This is the, you know, your powerhouse, right? The magician is very powerful. They wield their power with the things within them as well. So you could be creating something that you're you're not fully seeing taking off the ground. And I feel like spirit wants you to sit still and get into the silence in order to lay the foundation, a proper foundation of what it is that you're trying to create here. Ultimately, that's what I'm getting for you pile number ones. I know this is a little interesting um, of a reading. Definitely is. Spirit definitely wants you to rest too. Or maybe you'll have the chance to rest. Maybe you won't be, oh, that's what I'm getting. Okay, so you won't, I feel like you're gonna be moving forward, but in silence. And it's almost like your way of claiming victory, your way of honoring your victory is through rest and you won't really be in the public eye that much i say that because the six of fire upright is also like public displays of victory right this person here is giving her a reward is giving her a trophy right she's on display and this is in reverse it's and that three of swords healing still remains you're just healing you're healing from everything that has happened in the prior month and you are 
stabilizing yourself through rest, but you're still moving forward. That's where all this three, that's where all this air energy was. It's like you're in your head, but spirit wants you to sit still, sit still for the month of July and get your creative juices flowing. I'm going to clarify um, because you are the magician. You're the magic. You, you can, you're a master manifester, right? You can create whatever you want and you have. So you have to be very conscientious of where your thoughts are going at any given moment because you are creating literally as you go clarify this uh velocity of water for our pile number ones why is this knight of cups here for pile number ones clarify this knight of cups for pile number ones clarify this knight of cups so we have the curiosity of water yes trust in your intuition this is your creative intuition wants you to lean more in on it i feel like uh sometimes you might go back on your word the word that you've given yourself is what i'm getting the curiosity of water is the page of pentacles and the page of pentacles is light-hearted right it has light-hearted energy um is fun is flirty is almost carefree to an extent because they're really using their intuition to guide them and they're trusting in their intuition more so than just you know using it just for intuition's sake they're trusting it right so that's what spirit wants you to do with the sun here yes because the things will be revealed to you in time and then you'll kind of feel like yourself again is what i'm getting with this sun energy at the bottom of the deck so now we're going to pull advice guidance and wisdom from spirit Advice, guidance, and wisdom, spirit, for our pile number ones during their month of July. Advice, guidance, and wisdom for pile number ones during their month of July, spirit. Advice, guidance, and wisdom for pile number one during the month of July. Advice, guidance, and wisdom for our pile number ones during the month of July. Okay, beautiful. We have the two of spades. No, this is the two of clubs. And we have a little, it looks like a little piggy here. I don't know what this is, but we're going to open the guidebook to find out because I'm not trying to speculate. It's a mole. <gasps> It says the twin of the two of hearts, the mole deals deeper in business and social life. Here, the two of clubs shows a handshake or an agreement and new things coming in the distant future. Reverse, the mole speaks of secrets being kept, disappointments and opposition to your attempts. The mole also has a strong nose and when it's down reverse, it can indicate someone or something that is to be avoided. So, oh, I love you all so much. Oh. Bottom of the deck, we have the Ace of Diamonds, which are the two rings, okay? So, yes. Um, let's pull some charms. I got time today. We're going to pull some charms for you. Pile number one. Just a few. Not too many. There we go. Okay. Okay. So pile number ones, we have the key here. So some of you all could be moving or again, like I said, kind of like shutting in at home, like locking the door behind you type of thing. Ooh, we also have this love, um, L-O-V-E. It's almost like the brotherly love signs uh, for those of you who have like been in Philadelphia. <laughs> L-O-V-E, you guys could be thinking about love. This could be about a, a romantic connection and we also have this heart with this like um heart monitor right so to me this represents healing um we have this elephant which represents wisdom okay family orientation you know you could be highly oriented with family right now right the people who are closest to you we also have this flower that's i think it looks a little wilted yeah i'm getting like drained you might be drained of your energy right now right some of you all could be traveling as well we do have this arc de triumph from um paris here too and we have this peace dove 
here with the little peace offering as well and then there's that love emblem that i was showing you guys okay so um yes i feel like with this flower this flower looks wilted but it looks like if it was to be put in some water it would sprout back out so yes pile number ones that is all the time that i have for you my dears i love you so much i really hope this reading resonated with you and if it did please hit that thumbs up button like share and subscribe share this content with loved ones family friends or anyone who would best benefit from the messages provided here today if y'all are interested in booking a private reading with me look no further the link to my website is down in the description box below i love you so much and i'll see you in your next reading hey Bye. pile number twos welcome back to your reading so you guys know i like to pre-shuffle off camera and this card fell out beautifully like as this is right here so i wanted to take it um but before we start on your reading you all chose this beautiful kind of like pink sunset very tropical energy right so let's get into your reading you all have card number 37 fire element desire so i feel like a lot of you guys have a lot of wind beneath your sails so to speak right um you're going for the gusto you can have a lot of desires that are either being met or you want to be met some of you all might have an increase in your libido too like male or female that's what i'm getting to like a like a burning desire for something and you either might incorporate this through um like sex transmutation which just ultimately means you use that um that desire or that fire or that sexual energy and you transmute it into something that something super productive something that you might want to accomplish or get done card number 37 three and seven that's 10 one in zero that's one right so you could be ushered into a brand new beginning during this time too some of you all might be fire signs as well uh aries leo sagittarius but whatever it is i feel like you're going after your desires with full steam okay so let's get into the messages here for you pile number twos tell us more spirit clear concise accurate messages for our pile number twos what can they expect during the month of July? What can our pile number twos expect during the month of July, spirit? Yeah, we have the Ten of Fire. I feel like you're going to be putting in a lot of hard work and dedication during the month of July because you have an overall objective or goal. Okay. And it's interesting. This is a very beautiful card. I never realized it. This steeple in the back, it, it almost looks like a church or something or a house. And then we have this like um, bull here that's carrying all these logs. And then we have the switch here. So it's, it's like you're trying to manifest something. You're creating something. You know it's going to take a lot of work um, and you're willing to do it. Tell us more. Spirit was coming in for our pile number twos during the month, during this month of July. What's coming in for pile number twos during this month of July? Okay, we have the sun card here. Exactly. I feel like you're going, not only are you going to be working hard, but you're going to be enjoying your work, right? You might even find there's more of a spotlight on you or you're more able to celebrate yourself during this time with the sun card here, right? And you might see a lot of a lot more people celebrating you as well. Also, heavy Leo energy. Tell us more, spirit. What can our pile number twos expect during the month of July? What can our pile number twos expect during the month of July, spirit? Yeah, we have the curiosity of water. That's interesting. It almost clarified the sun, how it um landed on the sun card. Okay, trust in your intuition to have fun. I feel like you're gonna be a very playful this um july as well very playful pile number pile number twos spirit wants you to celebrate yourself have fun work hard but play hard that's what i'm getting work hard but play hard okay you deserve it tell us more spirit clear concise accurate messages for our pile number twos what can they expect during the month of july what can our pile number twos expect? Okay, wow, that was quick. Oh, I love this so much, pile number twos. We have the 10 of earth here. This is the 10 of pentacles. I feel like you're jumping into a new life, into a new dimension. You see these two women here? They're like, I don't know 
they're like creating this like um what is it called when you leap over something they're basically creating this thing to where this person is leaping out of this portal right now into this like bed of um roses right so this is a very cool image and it's very I feel like this is how your inner state is going to feel. You're just going to feel like I'm leaping into my new life, like, like so perfect, so eloquently, right? So we have the five of earth. This was in reverse. I feel like the harder you work, the easier your luck, your luck will come, right? We have the ace of air and then we have the nine of air. So very interesting. So ultimately pile number two is what I'm getting is that like you're you're working hard so you can leave lack and um depravity behind right once and for all I feel like that's your incentive during that's like what you want to do that's your intention during the month of July with the sun card 19 1 and 9 again that's 10 right 10 10 um new beginnings are are a mist here for you and it's because you've gotten very clear very clear the sun card is also a card of clarity right and then we have the ace of air which is the ace of swords so you're very clear about your directives and where you're going where you're headed in the month of july spirit wants you to stay on that course right I feel like you're you're not victimizing yourself for the work that has to be done either. That's exactly what I'm getting with this five of earth in reverse. It's like you're not necessarily looking for handouts. You want to put your all into something so you see the benefits that come from it. And I say that because you see this person, he's in this boat. He's trying to rescue. He He's here for a helping hand. He's here to rescue that you know, the individual, I guess, the curant, right? But with the Ten of Fire, that she's all powerful. She's like, look, I got my house. I got, you know, transportation or something to carry these bricks. Like, I'm good. I don't, you know, I don't necessarily need a handout. That's what I'm getting here. So in the month of July, you could be very focused on like digging yourself out of like a ditch or like getting yourself back stabilized and like in complete focus of your objective and with the curiosity of water and the nine of air there could be a little worry or anxiety but i feel like you don't really have to use your creative faculty use your have fun right i'm gonna clarify this nine of air because this person is staying up they're like worried they're so worried they're like sitting up in bed like they cannot go to sleep it's like they're looking out their window like what is happening right so with the curiosity of water this could be um almost like think childlike think childlike don't let worries drown out your child like air you know because sometimes adulthood can be like that right um we let worries about just the day-to-day -day kind of drown drown out our our childlike ability to make things happen or make things manifest right i also think it's it interesting you guys have a pink sky in your um picture selection and this is a pink sky too and the stark contrast to, to both of these skies right clarify this nine of air for our pile number twos clarify this nine of air oh we have the hang up card number 12 now this is the hangman that's your hang up in the month of july is to get yourself out of this worry okay with the generosity of fire this is the uh queen of wands you're looking good you are feeling good but there is some worry deep down in that subconscious mind of yours that comes out you know and it's be it's a hang up right it's something that spirit wants you to transcend so you can actually transcend it once and for all so you could kind of get over that hang up right you could be feeling like something's really tight you're tipping on a tight rope right um and you have to keep your balance right that could be your mental balance as well or your your perspective your thought your thought patterns is what i'm trying to say so yeah okay let's get into your advice guidance and wisdom from spirit thank you god thank you spirit for cleansing and blessing this debt for giving our pile number twos clear concise accurate advice guidance and wisdom for them advice guidance and wisdom for our pile number twos in the month of july advice guidance and wisdom for our pile number twos 
in the month of July. This was out. I'm not gonna take it. Um, goes up, but yeah. Advice, guidance, and wisdom for our pile number twos in the month of July. Wow. Okay. Interesting. Ten, ten. You remember ten again. There's a completion here. Pile number twos for you guys. Something is. The past is in the past. And I, I think that's the advice. Let the dead bury their dead. Let the past be in the past. Whatever is in the past, you do not have to re... What is it called? You do not have to re-engage. You do not have to think about it incessantly. You could bury it, right? You could be done with it once and for all. This is the 10 of spades here. So let's see... Ten of ten of spades gravestone. The graveyard is the end of things, especially worries, doubts, and troubles. Yes, okay, that's that nine of air energy here. This card signifies that the worst of a situation is over. However, in some instances, it does foretell a loss, but not an extreme one. Lastly, depending on surrounding cards, the Ten of Spades can show witchcraft or evil forces at work. If paired with the Six of Clubs, Cedar, it represents a loss of faith. So it wasn't paired with any of that. Um, reverse, this card implies more trouble ahead or enemies plotting against you. It wasn't in reverse. So yes, this is the end. It is, it's the end of your old life. It's the end of who you once, who you used to be because you're supplementing who you used to be for who you want to be, right? And this is going to be your current state. So now we're going to pick some charms. We're not going to pick too many. Thank you, God. Thank you, Spirit, for granting pile number twos. Perfect charms for them for the month of July. Let's see. Okay, so we do have this euro cent here, perfect, which means money could be good, money could be coming in, you could be working on your money, right? We also have this love sign. Um, I feel like a lot of you all could be focused on love, could be focused on loving yourself and uh, putting more love into the things that you do. We also have this horse, which is very um, indicative of freedom, right? Maybe that's what you're, you're working towards is to have a sense of established freedom with, with your time, your money, right? as well we also have this bear this little mama bear and this little baby bear or something like that so some of you all could be getting close to like children or you could just be finding your your childlike curiosity right now right um and then so yes and then we have this beautiful like eye um that's centered here so i feel like a lot of you all could be awakening to a certain truth that you're able to kind of come to terms with something or realize something right in the month of july and yeah and this is like to me this looks like a little spur but it could also look like a, a sun another sun right so there's just a lot of clarity here in your life there is a lot of warmth there is a lot of growth and development here as well and i feel like you'll feel a lot freer in the month of july pile pile number twos okay so yes my dreamy dreamer such a beautiful reading i love you all so much i really hope this message resonated with you in some way shape or form if it did please hit the thumbs up button like share and subscribe to this video to this channel i'd love to have you guys and um if you're interested in booking a private reading with me look no further the link to those readings will be in the description box down below on my website okay i love you so much see you next time Bye. Hey, pile number threes, welcome back to your reading. So you all chose this beautiful picturesque, perfect summer's day, right? With the rainbow, flowers, clear sky, everything, right? So um, let's hop into your reading. I'm really getting a good feeling about you guys, pile number threes, and what's coming in for you during the month of July. <laughs> Thank you for cleansing and blessing these cards, for giving us clear, concise, accurate messages for our pile number threes. What's coming in for our pile number threes during the month of July? What's coming in for pile number threes during the month of July, Spirit? Oh, you guys got a lot of cards. I'm going to take those. I'll show you these, but I'm going to take that one because it 
went upright. So we have bottom of the deck, card number 20, Scorpio with I transform. You're going to be making a major transformation during the month of July, pile number threes. Bet on it, okay? So um, I'll show you these three. Yes, we have card number 46, Grand Trine with Blessing, where we have um, the water element, card number 40 with Sensing, and we have card number six with Saturn Truth. I feel like you're finally owning your truth. You're finally owning your true nature, and you're going to be blessed immensely for it, pile number threes. I had a good feeling about you. Some of you all could be water signs, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpios. Um, other of you all could be ruled by Saturn or have Saturn uh, placements highly aspected in your chart but whatever the case you're you're going to be very divinely blessed come uh this July oh my gosh we have card number 24 Pisces I believe keep the belief up pile number threes keep the belief up okay believe in your glory believe in your victory believe in the things that could happen for you you have card number 24 some of y'all might be 24 years old if not two and four can be significant um two uh two and four that's six right so you could uh, six in the major arcana reminds me of the lover's card so right you could be making this like really beautiful connection with yourself or towards yourself during the month of july okay but ultimately um you know we have pisces some of y'all might be pisces um this could also represent you know really being a little delusional right really hankering down on your belief systems questioning your belief system what is true for you right during the month of july but let's see let's get more details into what's coming in for our pile number threes during the month of july spirit what's coming in for our pile number threes during this month of july clear concise accurate messages for our pile number threes Clear, concise, accurate messages for our pile number threes is coming in for them during this month of July. We have the nine of fire, okay? You are scaling a mountain here. You, you know, um, nine of fire talks about boundaries, right? It talks about working hard and being a little weary after that work, but it's not, it doesn't mean you're going to give up, right? Some of you all could be Sagittarius, and some of you all could really have a fire beneath you right now to accomplish something that it feels like you're scaling a mountain. Tell us more, Spirit, clear, concise, accurate messages for our pile number threes. What's coming in for pile number threes during this month of July? Okay, so we have the six of fire. This six of fire did come in reverse, so did the nine of fire, but I'm going to take them upright. Um, there could be a public victory here for you as well. That's what I'm getting here. I think this whole deck is upside down. So let me turn it right side up. Tell us more, Spirit, clear, concise, accurate messages for our pile number threes. What's coming in for them during the month of July? Ten of water, pile number threes. We have the Ten of Cups. Oh my God, and this looks just like y'all's picture. This looks just like y'all's picture. With the rainbow, you can't make this up, pile number threes. You're going to be so happy. You're going to feel so free. There's going to be like this frolicking sense with you, right? You might be hanging out with friends a lot more, but you're going to be very emotionally fulfilled in the month of July, pile number threes. I feel like you're going to be very proud of yourself also for what it is that you end up accomplishing. Tell us more for our pile number threes. What's coming in for them? You guys deserve this win and this victory, pile number threes. What's coming in for our pile number threes? We have the curiosity of Earth. Some of you all might be, um, pl might be planting a seed, right? And you're working day and night to make sure you're watering and you're tending to that, to that seed, right? Tell us more, spirit. Clear, concise, accurate messages for our pile number threes. There could be a new beginning in regards to like your work ethic or something that you're really dedicating yourself towards as well. Some of you all might be going back to school or like wanting to um, gain more knowledge or insight in your craft or in something. Tell us more, spirit. What's coming in for our pile number threes during the month of July? What's coming in for our pile number threes during the month of July? What's coming in for our pile number threes? 
Oh, yes. We have the elder card number four. This is beautiful. The elder card number four. This is the emperor. Okay. So you're winning in business. Some here. You're winning in business some way. I feel like you look, we have these two people scaling this mountain and now she's basically on the mountain, right? She has amassed a lot of wisdom, a lot of insight, right? Mars is right behind her head. I'm just realizing this for the first time, seeing this card. And she has this book in her hand, which looks like a journal. So she, it's like she's documenting her wins. She's documenting her victories um, as well. You, yeah. There's a lot of wisdom to be had here in this um, display. I'm getting like showcase, showcase, display, something like that. To display yourself more. Put yourself on display more. Tell us more, spirit. What's coming in for our pile number threes? Yeah, and then we have the five of fire. Hmm. Hmm. Two of fire, bottom of the deck. You're definitely on the right path. You're definitely planning for your future. You believe in yourself. You believe in your future. And that's why you're making these really amazing plans. And I feel like you're strategizing here with the five of fire as well. You're sparring with yourself, right? You're feminine, you're masculine. But you're doing so in a graceful way. You're not doing it off of like volatility. You're doing it off of like being emotionally fulfilled. Okay. And knowing that whatever path you're on, whatever path you're on right now, you're on the right one. Pile number threes. Beautiful reading. You know, I did kind of want to clarify this elder, but I don't need to. I really feel like there's a victory coming in for you on the business aspect. Or if you work for yourself, you have your own business, something like that. You're going to get the things that you are working so hard for as long as you keep on the straight and narrow. You keep on task. Tell us more, spirit. Advice, guidance, and wisdom for our pile number threes for the month of July. Advice, guidance, and wisdom for our pile number threes during the month of July. Advice, guidance, and wisdom for pile number threes during the month of July. Advice, guidance, and wisdom for our pile number threes during the month of July. Very interesting. We have the seven of spades here. And we have the bottom of the deck, the three of diamonds with this little quill or this feather. Let's see. Blood drop. Okay, so it says to dream of blood signifies loss or war, which I think is interesting because a nine of fire could indicate uh, losing the battle but not losing the war or something like that something lost that leaves grief in its wake okay so reverse it shows a the return of stolen property or some oh so maybe this is in reverse i think the blood drop will be this way yeah so this is in reverse it says in reverse it shows the return of stolen property or some other thing that was taken from you physically emotionally mentally and spiritually i love this okay yeah, so that's what's going on with you, pile number three. Something is being restored back to you. Now, this could be your your zest of life. This could be your happiness. This could be like a, a victory that you've been wanting to claim. You're now actually going to be able to, okay? So we're going to choose just a few charms to conclude your reading. Last messages for our pile number three, Spirit. Last messages for pile number three to conclude their reading. Just a couple. Okay, so I feel like big money's coming in. You guys got a bigger um, denomination of this euro cent. What is this? Yeah, it's a bigger one. So maybe it's not bigger money, but it's big money. It's bigger money coming in for you. <laughs> okay, so now we have this star, this moon, crescent moon and star. So this could be wish fulfillment or something you've been wanting or dreaming of or wishing for. Wow, all three piles got love in some way, shape, or form, like a love charm. All three piles got love. 
And then we have a compass, right? Keep facing your true north. Keep keep adhering to your vision, pile number threes. And you guys are going to have a, such an amazing transformation. You're not, you'll barely be able to recognize yourself if you keep up with what you've been doing or your thoughts or like whatever you've been doing, keep doing it because it's working. And then we have this crown here. Beautiful. You're being crowned. There's a victory here. There is, there's something prosperous coming into your life very soon. Okay. So yes, pile number um, threes, that is all the time that I have for you, my dreamy dreamers. I love you guys so much. I really hope this message resonated with you. If it did, hit that thumbs up button, like, share, and subscribe. I love you all so much. If you're interested in booking a private reading with me, look no further. The link to my website where you guys can book your private reading is in the description box down below. I love you so much and I'll see you in your next reading. Bye.